I'm Allie Cook for the Dental News Network. Today is April 18th, 2012, and this is your Wednesday Watch. Here are today's top stories brought to you by Bisco Dental Products. The state of Nevada is looking into suspects who have been providing medical and dental treatment without a valid license. Last month, a person was hospitalized with life-threatening complications from a botched dental procedure done by a man seemingly practicing out of his mobile home near Reno. There have also been medical complications and one death in the Las Vegas area due to similar underground practices. Nevada state health officials have stepped in and are trying to document reports of unlicensed medical care. The majority of phony health care is being provided within Hispanic communities, and officials say the reason people are gravitating toward them is because of language barriers and lack of insurance. The state of Nevada has encouraged residents not to be shy when checking a doctor's credentials. With us today is Eva Grazel, a stage 4 oral cancer survivor. A champion for early detection, she founded Six Step Screening, an oral cancer awareness campaign. Her passion to save lives was fueled by her experience as an oral cancer survivor. Eva speaks worldwide at dental meetings, healthcare conferences, and cancer centers. She is an author, and her second book, Mr. C Plays Hide and Seek, is being released in June. We're lucky to have Eva here as part of our Oral Cancer Awareness Month program, and she is here today to share her story. Eva, take it away. Thanks, Allie. My story is that at age 33, I was diagnosed with stage four lateral tongue squamous cell carcinoma. I had a biopsy when I was 31 for an unhealing sore. For two years, I had no obvious symptoms, but early stage oral cancer is often asymptomatic and you don't feel it. Because I was young, I had radical treatment. I had a glossectomy, a radical neck dissection, and a maximum dose of radiation. When I got a second chance at life, I couldn't ethically go on living without doing whatever I could to prevent this from happening to anybody else. I founded Six Step Screening, an oral cancer awareness campaign to educate the general public about what they should be getting when they go to the dentist. And if they're not getting an oral cancer screening, to ask for it. I believe it's dental professionals' responsibility to educate their patients. Let them know what you're doing when you're performing an oral cancer screening. If I knew that there was such a thing as oral cancer, I don't think I would have let that sore in my tongue go for that long before seeking the attention of a medical center. I tell my personal story publicly at dental conferences, mostly because every time I speak, I save lives. I change the way dentists view oral cancer. You have the opportunity to save lives by doing thorough oral cancer screenings. And if you saved one life in your entire career, would it be worth it to do a screening on everybody? In honor of Oral Cancer Awareness Month, this month I have provided my second book as a free download on my website, evagrazel.com. My book, Mr. C Plays Hide and Seek, explains what cancer is to children. It's everything I wished my children had when I was going through my disease. Enjoy the book and continue doing oral cancer screenings, not only for your patients, but get one for yourself. Thank you for sharing your story, Eva. Coming up, products and procedures, but first, here is a message from our sponsor. Albon Universal is a single bottle system that can be used for all procedures. Albon Universal offers the flexibility for total, self, or selective etch procedures. Prepare cavity and wash thoroughly. If etching, apply and rinse. Tooth preparation is easy for direct and indirect placement. Apply Albon Universal. Evaporate excess solvent and light cure. Continue with placement of restorative material. No additional activators are needed. Albon Universal is truly the first universal adhesive available. Call 1-800-BISDENT to order or visit bisco.com.
And now, products and procedures. The Journal of the Michigan Dental Association has printed a statement from the Michigan Board of Dentistry regarding Botox and dermal filler use in the dental practice. General dentists in Michigan may not use these for cosmetic purposes, according to the statement, but specialty practices such as prosthodontics, periodontics, oral pathology, and others were not addressed. Due to the fact that each specialty has its own scope of practice, it is unclear how Botox relates to each of these. It is clearly stated, however, that Michigan's definition of dentistry applies only to the areas of the face that are identified as, quote, dependent tissue of the teeth. Bisco Dental Products has introduced Theracal LC, a light cured resin modified calcium silicate filled base liner. It is designed for use in direct and indirect pulp capping and as a protective base liner under composite, amalgam, cements, and other base materials. It can be also used as an alternative to calcium hydroxide, glass ionomer, and other restorative materials. Theracal LC acts as a barrier and protectant to the dental pulpal complex. As we learned at a recent demonstration, its precise placement makes it excellent to use in deep cavity preparations. It is moisture tolerant and improves the ability to form a durable seal. Theracal LC is available in a one gram syringe and a four syringe package. For more information, visit bisco.com. Thanks for checking out the Wednesday Watch this week. Be sure to stay tuned next week when we are proud to once again bring you the latest dental news, introduce you to a material that has been newly formatted to make it radio opaque, and bring you another informative and entertaining segment with Eva Grazel. You won't want to miss it. We'll see you next week for the Wednesday Watch.